Hello everyone, my name is Atul Gupta and today I am going to show you the basic configuration of Tenda Wireless N300 router whose model number is model N301 so we have given this uh, router Tenda router double antenna and we have given three ports on the back side of the router one is WAN port and other three are LAN port and there is also given a WPS or reset button okay this button is used for resetting the router and this is the power cable on the top of this router we have given some indication power leds one is system light okay the second one is wlan wlan is for a wi-fi if it is continuously glowing uh, going glowing then it means that wi-fi is working properly then we have given one two three which is a LAN connection and then a van connection okay and uh, when we have to configure our router then we always use our LAN port okay we have three LAN port one two and three we need to insert a LAN cable in any of these port and connect with the desktop or a laptop or a system now I'm going to connect a LAN cable with our desktop I'll connect it on port number three okay look port number three starts blinking that means we have proper connection with the system now let's go to the desktop we are now came to our desktop and before going for the configuration we need to know the default IP of our router and uh, how can we know the default IP of our router First of all, we can have to go to the start option. Here we have to open the command prompt by typing CMD. Okay. The command window will get open. Here we need to type IP config. And under Ethernet adapter option, you can see the default gateway as 192.168.0.1 so this is your default ip of a router so we need to enter this default ip in a browser so now we have open our tender home page uh, home page now we have given three options under connection type number one is triple poe second one is dynamic ip third one is static ip so it depends on isp to isp okay that uh, how ISP, how your isp is giving your connection either they are giving on an connection on a triple poe or a static ip or by using dynamic ip so my isp has given me a static ip so i'm going to enter the uh, static ip you can get your uh, ISP, uh, IPs from your uh, ISP okay Here we have given Wi-Fi name so you can enter any of your Wi-Fi name I have entered, I have given tender as a Wi-Fi name and we need to enter the password of the same Wi-Fi okay so just press okay it is saved now <coughs> when you are done with the basic configuration of entering the IP 
now you can see here that van port is unplugged it means that the lab the internet connection uh, you are getting from a van cable from your isp you have to enter it on a van port so i'm going to insert the van cable from my isp on the back side of the van port of the router okay here i have inserted the cable and now you can see the connection status has changed it is you can serve the internet now okay so look here we are getting the wi-fi connection wi-fi options as well okay and uh, whenever you need to change the wi-fi password of a router you just have to go to the browser and just type the same default ip 192.168.0.1 and you need to go to the wireless setting option here you can see wi-fi name and a password this is your wi-fi name and this is your wi-fi password so you can change your wi-fi password from here i have entered in direct directory 123 now suppose you have to change the password as standard that 456 then by changing the password you need to press ok ok so all settings will be saved and uh, your wi-fi password will be changed so that's all for the day if you have any query then you can ask me anytime under comment section thank you